Kevin Romer, and I'm going to talk about the building automation demo here. Uh, this system was just powered up. And when it comes up, it will be running Web Access. And the Web Access on here is talking to the Atom 6066 here. And if you want to toggle some I.O., you just double click on one of the DOs, select one for logical one, and press enter. And you'll hear it click. And you'll see this turn red. So let's do it again. Let's do DO3. Select one, enter, and there you go. Okay? Uh, you can minimize the web access, and when you do that, you will see Advantex Studio. And Advantex Studio is talking to the Atom 2000 series, the 2031Z, the DMU3010, and the Atom 4055 down here on the bottom right. So if you want to turn on some I.O., um, starting with the Atom module here, you can just press D.O. and you'll see the light come on down here. D.O., the light come on down here. And also the DMU3010, you can turn on the D.O. and you'll see the light come on right there. Okay, and for the Atom 2000, uh, remember this is uh, battery powered. And if you look here, uh, the battery power battery level says there's nothing. There's no green here. So the first thing you need to do when you get the demo set up is to come over here and remove the small screw that is on the Atom 2031Z. So you will need a small Phillips and a small regular screwdriver. And you can just pop this off here. And by default, these uh, demos will come with out the batteries installed. So you just install the two AA batteries. Put the cover back on. And reinstall the screw. Okay. Now you'll see the battery level here showing green. Now with that in mind, it is a Zigbee wireless module. So therefore, you can remove the mounting screws here, disconnect power. Now you're on totally wireless. Now we're showing the temperature and humidity. So what you could do is actually just kind of blow on the bottom here and you'll see the uh, humidity increase. There you go, 71 percent. Okay, so you can walk around the room with this, show them that it's actually talking. And that's the that's the Vantex Studio talking to the M2000 demo. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. I'll put this back up here. Reapply power. What you want to not forget is to remove those batteries before you ship them. Otherwise, somebody will just have to buy some new batteries. Okay, so we're back to a blank screen. We still have web access and H2O running down here in the system tray. But what we're going to talk about now is the BAS uh, 3520 series. So, what we want to launch is the Avantec Bass Pro monitor. The password is Avantec all lowercase. Press OK. That'll come up. What you want to do is hit the lightning bolt to bring up the list of modules you can connect to. Obviously there's only one here, so just go ahead and select it. And press OK. And that'll query this for the running project that's on there. And it'll show you your IP address here and then the demo page here. What you want to do is select the double click on the demo page to open it up. And you can see the function block logic programming that the Bass Pro is using. Now it's not IEC 611 31-3 function block, but it is similar to that. And you can show them here that 
the logic and how how things connect. So, and that's basically the Bass Pro demo. Let's close this. And again, this is this is a TBC seventeen seventy running uh, full XP. Also, on the back of the unit, uh, the seventeen seventy is kind of top heavy with this demo, so we have an extra bracket here that I'm going to talk about here next. So, okay, this is the back of the building automation demo. What you want to do is uh, remove this screw that's in the top right corner of the TPC 1770 with all the washers. Then you want to take the bracket with the long lead up. Use the top hole, reapply the screw, and now you have the additional bracket installed for the back of the unit. That's so when you touch on it up here, it's not going to fall over on you. And that's the installation. Thank you.